Boy, yeah, my name is Major Slack, and thanks for joining me again. Some of you, uh, let's walk through some more prey, and some of you, um, a lot of you came here just for the shotgun. You saw it in the title, and you want to get the shotgun. I want me a shotgun, Slack. Like, okay, bear with me, 90 seconds, okay? This is a walkthrough video, um, but I'm going to show you how to get the shotgun in 90 seconds. We're going to take care of a little bit of business, a little bit of business, 90 seconds, okay? Um... We're back in Morgan's office. These are diamond. Doesn't only like, don't really like them anyways. Even though they have um, stealth and distracting abilities, I'm fully aware of that. I tried it out. Don't like it. Not impressed. Bye bye. We're recycling it. That is it with recycling. We're out of here. Hit the recycle button. Grab the material goodies. Let's stash everything, or like, rather, a lot of things in the safe. Here we go. Uh, all the materials go in the safe. What else can go in the safe? The Psy Hypos, we don't need those now. Keep the shotgun shells on board for now. And I believe everything else we're going to keep. That's it. Wait a minute. Actually, I don't need these. Uh, I feel pretty confident I could do without these spare parts and these suit repair kits. Done and done. Right, now. Um, let me just quickly rearrange all the food in the bottom right corner. That guy over there. We're going to upgrade the glue gun right away. Incapacitation rate, definitely. I'm going to max this out. One of the best things you can max out on any weapon. The incapacitation rate on the glue gun. Done and done. Put that guy over there. Food in the bottom right corner. This guy up there. Whoops. And... That's it. Oh, that took two minutes. Uh-oh. Sorry. Okay, I didn't count on having to do commentary. Okay, sorry. Two minutes. Okay, let's go get the shotgun. Um, here we have Morgan U's office. If you pre-order the game, you can get the shotgun in this locker here. It's right there. But I'm not using any of the pre-order stuff because that would be fair to those who did not pre-order the game. Who would actually, at this point in time, would have to find some kind of like time machine, go back in time, pre-order the game, and then get that stuff. Yeah. <laughs> what? Slack? Yeah, yeah, whatever. Okay, if you did pre-order the game, here's what you can do to get the shotgun. Starting from Morgan U's office, go all the way down here. All the way down to the bottom floor. And I forgot to collect these flowers here. Let me just quickly grab those. Go into here. Okay, this is like... Should be marked security. Here we go. Security. Okay, go in the security door. And you're going to go down here and find that this door is locked. You can actually find a key to this. We're going to get a key to this. Um, actually, in this video. But you don't need the key. You could just jump up here on this pipe here. Hunker down. Creepy crawly along the pipe. Alternatively, you could use your glue gun and put like a a blob right there, right? Okay, I'll just show you this way first. This is the easy way. Go along here like that, right? Or if you want to be real fancy smancy, show off to your friends how you can climb walls with the glue gun. Jump up here. I think I put that too high. Okay, I put it too high. Okay, put, put one there. Okay, this is how you can climb walls with the glue gun. Put a blob up there. Go up close to it. Press the climb button. Okay, the other one's too close. They screwed up. Here we go, like that. Alright. Yeah, like that. Like that. And you're up. There you go. That's how you can climb walls. You can like make stairs by spraying out like, you know, like that, you know? Like that, but I wouldn't recommend that because it uses up too much glue. You just, you, all you need is a few strategically placed wall climbing holes and you can climb any wall pretty much, right? So here we are, drop down in here and you are now in the security office. And right here is the shotgun. But shoot before he run now. Yeah. And let's take a look at these emails. Should you use the shotgun? That is, uh, you use it as your main weapon and um, spend a lot of neuro mods so you can get all the maximum upgrades and then, you know, like uh, feed it all your weapon upgrade um, kits and, you know, max it out. Should you do that? Um, I've taken the trouble to work up a little test here. Here's the Margrave shotgun. I've maxed out 
the firepower, okay? So this is the most damage you're going to get out of it, um, aside from spending more Neuromods in, um, forget where that is. Here's security. You're going to have to spend more Neuromods here in firearms and whatnot, which is even, that's even more Neuromods. But just like going for like, um, Gunsmith, okay? So here, Engineer, Gunsmith 1. Gunsmith 2, that's 11 Neuromods, that way you can get all the upgrades for the shotgun. And the shotgun, uh, first of all, the official game guide is wrong, they're probably working on an earlier copy of the game. Um, the maximum firepower you can get out of the shotgun is 66, not 71, okay? So that's 41 to 66. The biggest uh, drawback I find with all these upgrades that you apply to the shotgun is there's no upgrade for range. So pretty much... Uh, the shotgun, you got to get right up in an enemy's face to make it work, okay? Like, for example, just a regular run-of-the-mill phantom here. Let's go right up in his face here. There, two shots, and he's down. But that's right up in his face. Let's try that again a little further away. Okay, here we go again a little further away. As you see, the performance... Um, is greatly diminished. Greatly diminished. He's still alive somewhere. And that's with maximum damage. Without the firearms near a rod. He's there around the head. Yeah, that only took down half his health. So to me, that's the biggest drawback, is range. I mean, if you have to get up, you know, at melee range to make the shotgun, <laughs> you know, to take maximum uh, have the shotgun, you know, perform at its maximum, you might as well use the wrench. I mean, let's let's try the wrench now. A non-upgraded wrench, okay, and whatever you my non-upgrade, you can actually upgrade the wrench, okay, but what you can do is um, get Neuromods here, impact calibration, and once you get this one here, it gives the wrench 50% more damage. That'll cost you 8 Neuromods as opposed to 11 Neuromods for the shotgun, all right? So you typically use the wrench with the glue cannon, Okay, go right up ahead. Boom. See? That, I mean, like, that first shot almost did as much damage as the shotgun when it was a few meters away. My first shot with a wrench. So let's say, you know, you drank a little bit of alcohol, okay? Let's try this again. Blue cannon, up and at him. Okay, drink a little alcohol. Do I have some? Here we go. Drink some of that. Load it. And boom. Half. See that? Where'd he go? Anyways, you saw it was half, almost half the Phantom's health. One shot, non-upgraded wrench, plus alcohol. So, I'm figuring, if you gotta get right up in the enemy's face to make, you know, the shotgun work, <laughs> what's the point? You might as well go with a melee weapon. But that's, not, that's my personal preference, you know? I mean, like I said, if you, if you put upgrades into uh, firearms as well, you know, it can get some more um, damage out of the shotgun. And if you prefer that playstyle, yeah, then I mean, go for it. You know, but like I said, you got to get right up in the enemy's face to make the shotgun really work. All right? You can't upgrade the range. That's the biggest problem I find. There's no range upgrade. Reload speed, ammo capacity, recoil, and firepower, but no range. So that's the rundown on the shotgun. Now, back to your regularly scheduled programming. We can get a shotgun shell ammo fabrication kit right here in the safe. I'll show you that in a minute. But first we're going to go to the holding cell there and you can get the... Or the holding room rather. You can get the note or rather the, the key code to the holding room right there, right? Okay. And just show you one of my favorite uses of the shotgun in sneak mode. You can one shot mimics. If you're in sneak mode, right? 
Other than that, I find also the shotgun just uses what way too much ammo. There you go, one shot mimics in sneak mode. If you're not in sneak mode though, it may take two or three shots. So there you go, that is it. That is the extent of my shotgun use. Uh, I may use it later on. I don't know, just for gits and shiggles, but typically I stash it. Okay, you want to be able to make shotgun shells at any fabricator. You got to get into the safe here. How do you get into the safe? Um, this is a weird clue. You look at this book here and you get this biblical passage. Judges 526, all right? And it's the 526. That's the key right there, okay? So go up to the safe. Interact with that. Plug in 0, 5, 2, 6, and boom, you're in. And inside the safe is the shotgun shells fabrication plan. Sweet. Yeah, and a whole bunch of grenades. Your first recycler charge if you've been following this walker. Alright. Throw that sucker out and it kind of like makes this implosion. Draws everything towards it and turns it into recyclable material. Including yourself. <laughs> so don't get too close when you set one of these suckers off. And the no way transmitter. Uh, disable anybody who's uh, using psi powers. And finally, an EMP charge. That's pretty self-explanatory. Electromagnetic pulse charge. Pretty standard fare for all video games. Alright, so that's that. So now we have the shotgun shell fabrication plan. And here's what it co will cost you. A lot of mineral materials, okay? It's going to cost you three mineral, three mineral materials and two synthetic. Alright, you can make yourself a batch of shotgun shells. Alright, so if you want to go shotgun, you got everything you need right here. Alright? And some stuff here is here, here. There should be another weapon upgrade kit right around the corner. Boom, there. Let's apply that right away to the glue gun again. At this point, though, we're going to have to get the Lab Tech 1 upgrade. There we go. It requires Lab Tech 1. Alright, so let's go to Neuromods. And I'm definitely. I definitely want to upgrade the glue gun. So. Lab Tech 1 is here, Engineer, down here to Materials Expert. You're going to have to get that first. And then slide on over and get Lab Tech 1. And I'm going to get Lab Tech 2 as well. Right? So now we can get more upgrades for the Glue Cannon. So let's once again upgrade the Incapacitation Rate. One of the best things you can do. Once you get this maxed out, 3 or 4 shots, you can totally incapacitate a, a Phantom. Which is, I can't tell you how useful that is. Really useful. Alright, so let's... Plunk in another weapon weapon upgrade kit into the glue cannon. And we have got ourselves a kick-ass glue cannon. Look at these emails just for posterity. A little bit of story. And we're out of here. Should be some cuties in here. Double checking because I'm paranoid about Mr. Spotters. Do I need water? Yes, I do. And this will open this book or this door here. I shouldn't be paranoid about Mrs. Spotters. It's 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 ridiculous. Some of the trolls that get up in my face for missing stuff. It's I was watching a blind playthrough today of this game. <laughs> like, all I have to say is, wow. Wow. I mean, I've ranted about this before, but wow. That was really bad. 90% of the comments that this guy was getting, they were all telling him how badly he was playing. And this guy has over a million subscribers. And it's a real shame, too, because some of the comments were going, this game sucks. And I know why they're saying that, because they're watching somebody who doesn't really invest like they don't commit to the game you know they don't uh, commit to the game mechanics and get involved with it and get you know really learn how the game works so it's a shame that uh, blind playthroughs dominate YouTube and in many ways do a lot of these games that a great disservice by not truly committing to the game and playing it well enough to demonstrate how much fun you can have with the game 
Okay, rant over. Sorry. Okay, here we go. Uh, do I want to use the shotgun? No, I can get away with that. So that's it. What did I do? Oh yeah, there's another bit of a glitch here. There we go. With the inventory. The inventory isn't quite um, PC port friendly. Um, I don't want... I can do without this. I can do without this. Let's put the booze down here. We can do without the disruptor batteries for now, but we are going to get the stun gun next to video, alright? Want the stun gun? Yes, I want the stun gun, Slack. Okay, I'm going to show you. Next video. Uh, let's put the booze there. Shotgun shells, we could do without that. And that is all we're bringing along. Now, next. As soon as you access Morgan's office, this is something I've noticed that happens. The women's bathroom downstairs will change. It will kind of like respawn, you know? If you recall, we were there already in a previous video. After you go to Morgan's office and do that whole rigmarole here, this is what happens to the women's restroom. It's now all glued over. And what did I do? Oh yeah, I unhockeyed my wrench. So, let's bust in there and see what's going on. Go in here and we have this poor soul here. Martin Giroud. Who has glue ammo for us. And another glue cannon. So, let's just take his ammo. And, um, you know what, we could recycle this. Let's just grab that. And he's got a couple of suit repair kits. And some shotgun shells. Yeah. That was not there before. We already went through here be previously. Emptied out this, this location. Yeah, so make sure you come down here for some extra glue gun ammo. How's my inventory? Can I take on more stuff? Yes, I can. Okay, next. The staff lounge. Is that next? Let me look at my nose here. Staff Lounge, yeah, that's next. Staff Lounge is up there on the second floor. Um, you can go through the IT department. That's a little tricky. We're going to do that next. Or we could just um, creepy crawly along the ledge here. Right here. Can okay, I watch out? There's a mimic on the other side. Jump over. That right there is always a mimic. Let's glue him down. Get a power attack going with the wrench and... Yeah! Surprise! And here, on, on the right side is the staff lounge, on the left side is IT security. We're gonna do both of these. Let's start with the staff lounge. Okay, so we got some mimic action here. That's a mimic. And the fallen bar stool over there is a mimic. Let's just pop them with the silence pistol. Same with this guy over here. <laughs> There's four mimics here. That's two. Number three is that chair right there. And let's grab a Petri dish sample off this guy here. Ooh, gross. What the hell? Okay, that's the first time that's happened. And finally, this lamp right there, if you could see it. Let me just put on my zoom there. See that lamp right there, all right? There you go. That's all for it. Right? Now, I got smacked up a little bit. Let's have something to eat. Get the well-fed bonus going on. And this area is clear. Let's go looting. Tons of food in here. If you want to have like a food-based recovery system, this is one of the places to come to. Let me just get all these type and organs here. That's the most important. Okay, now the food is here in the kitchen, alright? 
search all these cupboards here. Food rocks. Food rocks in this game. If you get this neuromod here, go to scientist right here. Physician 1 and then go right here. Metabolic boost. Doubles both duration of the well-fed bonus and health gain from consuming food. That really kicks butt. Makes all your food worth 10 plus um, the well-fed bonus lasts longer. So all you have to do is eat one food, like any one of anything, and it will give you 20 health. Seriously, so it's like, you know, compared to med kits, it's, you know, a lot more bang for your buck. Also, like, inventory space, because, you know, some of these like, can stack up pretty high, you know? Save a lot of inventory space. Alright, so, this poor soul here, Octavia Figs. What's your story? Let's find out. sweet that you're worried about me, but we've had alerts before, and I've got three more of these glorified vacuum cleaners to fix before my shift is over. Oh, make that four. Someone dropped off another. God, these things are junk. I don't think this is a drill, Octavia. I'm sending you the code. Please, come to the escape pods right now. Huh. So, how's that ignoring alerts thing working out for you, Octavia? <laughs> Yeah. And we're done here. Yes, yeah, so we got a crap ton of food. Booze gives you bonus damage, by the way. In case you didn't know this, check it out. Oh, well, okay, let's just drink something just for posterity. How about uh, duck beer? Okay, we'll drink this. Check out your status. Here, bonus physical damage. <laughs> it actually works. But you're drunk, eh? You know, but you, you do more damage. So if you really want to add a little bit of oomph to your wrench, you know? Yeah, drink something. And then run in there and whack him. You know how it is. Night on the town, you feel a little, you know, belligerent. <laughs> Do some bonus damage. Okay, let's go take care of a couple of badass phantoms here in security. Is that that slag? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Um, after we open the door, I'm gonna show you how to open the door. There's two phantoms in there. Together, they can really mess you up. All right. So you got to treat them delicately. What we're going to do is like lean over, take a couple pot shots at one, shoot the explosive container, and then run back here to our Alamo in the staff lounge. Back here, hunker down, hide here. Hopefully one of them will sucker one of them to come in here. When he comes close there, blow that explosive container, glue him up, finish him off, and then we'll go after the other one. Basically divide and conquer. Okay, that's the plan. Let's do it. All right, how do you get into IT security? Um, I have the official game guide, and there's a list of codes in the back of the, uh, the game guide, and it gives the code as 0913, and I googled all over to see how to get this code somewhere in the game, and nobody seems to know. So maybe that is the only way. This is not the only way you can get into IT security or IT, the IT department, but um, yeah. Okay, here we go. came in. I do not want this. Nope, they're not in yet. Now they're both in shit. And I think I'm busted too.
Okay, one down. Good morning, Talos. As a reminder, all personnel must complete monthly Not now. during their stay aboard Talos 1. Dr. Debris promises to make them as quick and painless as possible. Okay, time for a little booze bonus, booze bonus damage here. Get him! There you go. Okay, that wasn't textbook, but uh, you know I had to do live commentary. Okay, so we get your goodies. You give up the, your union dues. Very good. Oh, there's something here—a lemon peel. If you ever see something on fire like that, you could just use the glue gun to put it out. Just put one shot there, boom, puts it out. That's it, no problem. See? Oh, I forgot to get this. Very good. Okay, now, back to the IT department. Two very important items in here. One is a neuromod, and another one is a chipset. And... Typically, chipset pickups are random, but this one is not. This one seems to always be thermal shielding. So this will give you some fire resistance. So let's hook this up right away. Okay. This is your chipset, and this is your scope, your suit chipset um, menu, and this is your scope chipset menu. Gives you various bonuses and resistances. All right. We don't have the scope yet. We're going to get that uh, later on. And you can... Uh, uh, Upgrade or like unlock more slots by going to engineer here and then running up this skill tree here, okay? Suit modification and unlock more slots for your suit. All right, that's that. And also a neuromod. There we go. So that was the whole point of coming in here. And let me just nosh down some food here. Yum, yum. That'll do it. And go looting. This will have to wait till later on in the game to, to access. Thought there was more spare parts in here. Okay, and you can also jump up here. Jump up here. Smashy, 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 smashy. Take your glue gun, plop one there, jump over here like that, climb up, and you're up here. Watch out for a mimic over here. I believe it's that guy right there. Blow it up, blow it up, 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 up. Yeah, who's your daddy? Huh? Slack daddy. That's right. Get some spare parts here. And you can unlock this door here to go up on the third floor. Now, um, this leads around to another door which is locked by general access. We're going to get the general access key later on. And this goes behind the screen in your office. Okay, there's your office. There's the screen, the video screen. If you smash the screen, you get into this little hallway here. And later on when you get the general access key, you can use the general access key to come in here, go along here, smash through the glass and that's another way to get into the IT department without using the code all right but like I said if you know where that code comes from post a comment so I believe that is it let's go back to the office to take care of business and um, coming up next we're gonna get the stun gun want the stun gun yeah I want the stun gun slack okay I'm gonna show you next video 
And let me just take care of business at the end of this video here. So I'll be all ready to go next video. All right. All recyclable material in. Um, basically, we're keeping everything else. Oh, I forgot to recycle this. Or I haven't been back here yet. I recycled the spare glue cannon. Uh, I'm tempted to recycle this too. I don't have many bullets left. But we're going to get another one anyways later on. So yeah, let's recycle that. And... We're good. All materials in. Those guys in. Spare parts in. Um, Psy hypo. It doesn't want to stack up. If you get this problem, just take out the same item and it should stack up properly now. I know I didn't want to stack up there. I'm done with the shotgun for now. Let's put that in. Don't need suit repair kits. And we only need a little bit of booze. And let's save the big stacks of food. Ready to rock and roll. There we go. That's just the way we like here. Whoops. What did I do? I put in something I wanted. The neuromods. There we go. Mr. Fumblefingers hit the wrong button. There we go. All ready to rock. That's it. I want to thank you very much for watching. And if you thought this video was remotely entertaining, I know informative, give the old slacks or big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel to make sure you get all my videos hot out the press. All right. See you next video.